Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to King's Quest Seven, a Christmas special and Patreon reward for Kichikun. And we are on Chapter 2. A troll is as a troll does. Let's go. Oh, uh, 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 Ro Rosala, um, there's a... You got a little something on your, um, uh, n never mind. Welcome, most beautiful of princesses. Yes, so very beautiful right mm -hmm. now. <gasps> Who... Who are you, sir? Sir, really? I, uh, I am King Otar Fenris III, ruler of the Volcanics Underground. And the what? you are the Princess Rosella, yes? No. I am your majesty. How do you know me? Where am I? I saw a beautiful castle before. Where could I find it, please? Seriously? You're looking for a beautiful castle, castle? really? Castle? Oh, that. It's a dull place. You wouldn't like it. I'm not gonna take your word for it. Oh my, I wasn't expecting this. Expecting what? Your Majesty, what weren't you expecting? What's going on? I wasn't expecting you to be so lovely, my lady. Right. You will be the most radiant bride in all the world. Well, once she's irradiated, at least. Bride? Oh, that's a way See to here, piss King someone Otar, off. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm very honored and all, but I can't marry you. I, I don't even know you. Now, yeah, it works for dozens of me. hundreds, thousands of people. In... Ah! I have I'm no a... reflection. I'm a... I'm a... a troll, dear lady. A troll? Oh, you're not Please green. Don't be sad, princess. You make a lovely troll. A simply stunning troll. Oh, that's that's a. I'm a troll. Great How line. can I be a troll? I'm not a troll, am I? Yes, yes you are. Come along, princess. Let me escort you to your chamber. Time to head out Perhaps to the internet and do what trolls do best. Rest. A troll? Well, look on the bright side. You got the the poofy hair, right? Troll, huh? What? Who? What? All right, well that that was random. What? A troll? I can't believe I'm a troll. I can't believe it either. I'm not just any troll. Oh no, I'm engaged to the troll king. How lucky can a girl get? Well, you didn't accept it, the engagement. Oh, apparently we can move around now. Um, what is that? That is... that is quite green. Okay. Look, it's it's not that bad, Rosalind. Look, a, a little bit of... a little bit of makeup. I don't know why you uh, stuck your tongue out. Ew! That's enough to give our castle decorator a case of the vapors. I wasn't expecting that line. Um, look like there's anything else I can pick up. Can I do something again with this? No, apparently you're just going to stick your tongue out at the uh, mirror. Okay, well, let's go ahead and leave. Well, look on the bright side, you have very large hands now. Who the hell are you? Wow, you are. Who are you, Missy? You're no real troll. I can see right through you. What do you want with King Otar, you human minx? What? I, I don't want anything. I was just looking into this pool, and, and then I saw this... Baloney, little girl. You're trying to steal the throne of the underground. Usurper, usurper! <laughs> Her name's not Sargon. Why, you're no usurper, you poor little thing. What? Don't cry. Jeez, I you... I didn't mean to be cross. It's just that King Otar has been so strange lately, and that a horrible woman has been snooping around. 
You really changed crying. tunes fast. Of course you're not, Gear. Now you listen to me. I can help you turn back into a human. You can? Are you an enchantress? Well, not exactly. I'm Matilda, and I used to be King Otar's nursemaid when he was just a wee troll. Anyway, I can give you a list of ingredients for a magic potion that will turn you back into a human just like that. How do you, you have, have this information? For me. Anything. Up above this kingdom is a dark land called Ooga Booga. Our kingdoms really? were never crazy about each other, but we had a civil relationship. Now, because of her, the Ooga Boogaites attack any troll that shows a face above ground. Missy, once you're human, you will go above and investigate. I have a gut feeling that our kingdom is in terrible trouble. Of course I will, Matilda. Wonderful. Now listen, girl, bring me some baked beetles, a crystal dragon scale, water of emeralds, a silver spoon, and a gold bowl. Got it? Got it. That is some very strange... Those are some very strange ingredients. Also, the hell? Stupid old toy rat! This is not what I wanted! I wanted a battle axe! Well, you'll get one in your face. Time for lunch! Don't forget your new toy! Dumb, stupid rat! I have no idea what's going on. I am frightened. But I'll take that. I I I have a I have a toy rat now, guys. It's, it's actually kind of cute, actually. Kill me. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like we can take this, perhaps. Yeah, we got a shield. Perfect for Prince. Wow, that is that is a spiky shield. Well, at least it'll give me an extra attack, even if it won't do any damage. All right, so we can go th that way, not down. Let's look at the throne. What are you doing, Rosalind? What are you... I don't want to know. Let's head over here. With our very trollish walk. Hello, what's cooking? Alright then. Just a touch of frog lips, a dash of mouse noses, a sprinkling of spider legs. <laughs> What? Why is even the troll chef a uh, uh, Frenchman? You are so wonderful. You are the most beautiful stew in the world. No, it's, All you it's really need not. Is a juicy bat or a tender rat. Excuse me, I'm gonna go vomit. Uh, y your stew oh, I'm is sorry, boiling I didn't over. Mean any out, out, out of my kitchen, you dreadful peasant! Well, that's just rude. And she also went really, really far. You have a problem with your uh, your voice, there, buddy? Don't worry, my little stew. You're safe from that dreadful girl. Her peasant lips will never touch you. Okay, now that's scary. Uh. Revolting beast. Yes, your pet is a revolting beast. Who the hell was that? Jeez, oh god. You nearly got yourself fried. Oh, I'm not 
not scared of that nasty wench. I could break her in half like a carrot. Well, that's good, cause she's right behind you. <laughs> Can we just like fill this whole place with cement? That was not a funny little car. No, uh, it was mildly funny. All right, no, it wasn't really. Hello? Pardon me, sirs, but who was that tall, imposing woman? Uh, her name is Malicia, and uh, to tell you the truth, lady, uh, no one really knows who she is. Then why is she here? I know who she is. She's a fiend, that's who. Shut your mouth, Hogarth. You don't know nothing. Some trolls say Malicia is an evil fairy cast out of Etheria up there in the clouds. All I know is, she never used to hang around here, and now she does all the time. Well, maybe someone We'd should like just kick her out. I'd like to tell you more, pretty lady, but we better not. Nah, tell me. Tell me anyway. Is there anything more you could tell me about Malicia? Uh, uh no, lady. Uh, sorry. No, no way. Is her name, uh, is her full name Malicia Stone? Is there anything more you could tell me about Malicia? Uh, no, no. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and leave. Now, the chef was talking about needing a rat for his stew, and we do have a toy rat. So maybe we can distract him. I have, a, I have a rat for you. Excuse me, Mr. Cook? Out, out, out of my kitchen, you dreadful peasant. What? Why do you always do this to me? This is just rude. Oh, that didn't sound good. Uh, you, you really need to see someone about that, that throat thing you got going on there. Well. Um. Eh? Hello? What the hell? What's going on? Who's there? A juicy tender rat. Just what I need for my stew. Yes. For me or you, little tidbit. Juicy tender robotic rat that can move at incredible oh, go. speeds. Okay. I have no idea what the hell that was. Uh, okay, well, let's take a look at the stew. Better not be, like, about to eat this or something like that. What? That's enough to give a person nightmares. I'm gonna take a look over here. I'm gonna have nightmares, but it's not they gonna be because of that stew. They could cook a moose in there. <laughs> Gosh, they probably are. Right. What the hell was that? Okay, well, I have, uh, baked beetles. Well, we got something there. So I guess that's good. Um, is there anything else that we can interact with? I'd like to get a silver spoon somewhere. I guess there are no silver spoons in here. I'd go that way. I 
I'm not letting him out. No way. Fair enough. All right. Well, let's go ahead and leave. I guess there are no silver spoons in here. Let's head back over here. You know, Winnie, I've had so much trouble sleeping lately. Blotar snores like a dragon with heartburn. Do dragons with heartburn, Let me tell heartburn you, snore? Nine, I have the same problem with Hogarth. I just use wet sulfur. I put a lump of wet sulfur on the fireplace at night and it puts me right out. Why I sleep so soundly, Hogarth sometimes has to wake me with a flower under the nose. <laughs> A flower! Eee! You must have been sleeping like a log if you needed a nasty, smelly flower to wake you up. Well, well, well. You learn something new every day. You people frighten me. Excuse me, good ladies, but, but would you happen to know anything about Militia? Oh! Look, Winnie! It's the king's new bride-to-be! Isn't she the cutest little thing? Oh, my dear! You're the luckiest troll in the world! Oh, it's going to be the most beautiful wedding! And won't you be the most beautiful bride? Oh, I always cry at weddings. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go shoot myself now. Please, can we just fill this place up with concrete? Excuse me, ladies? Oh, I don't think we're going to be getting any more information out of them. <laughs> you end your crying awfully fast. Oh, never mind. Yes, good call. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Let's go over this way. I can look at that. What do we have here? Can we get burned to death? Please. Please. We're walking an awful far... You could melt rocks in there. It's kind of the point. You have a silver May spoon I back just here. Borrow these tongs for a few minutes, sir. I just can't let you do that, sugar lips. How about a smooch instead? You. No thanks. Your last cookie nose. No, it really cooking. Please, can we fill this place up with concrete? Give us silver Funny, spoon. Sir, but I was wondering. No. Well, wonder no longer, sweet potato. I am the troll of your dreams. No. Didn't you kill me in now see here, I'm, King's I'm, Quest IV uh, or something? I'm engaged to the king. That's right, the king. Oh, well, I respect King Ota. You you can bet on that. Uh, I'm sorry, my little rutabaga, but our love is not to be. You let me know if he dumps you, okay? No. Ew. Ew. All right, what about this fellow back here? Excuse me. Hello? I didn't mean to startle you, sir. I am Rosella of Daventry. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind being interrupted by someone as charming as yourself. What can I do for you? Do you well, know where the concrete the most is? You're troll I've ever met. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Don't apologize, my dear. I quite understand. I can't tolerate the company of most other trolls myself. I like how he has just stopped over there. Master Jeweler, at your service. Do you have a silver spoon? You don't like other trolls? You must be so lonely, Oppie. Oh, I am, Rosella. 
To tell you the truth, I'd do anything to leave this place. I'd love to go out and make my way in the world. And maybe I'd even become the court jeweler of Etheria. Why yeah, probably don't not. you? I don't have the money. All I have to my name is this old chipped hammer and chisel. Pardon me, my dear, but I really must finish this project. How do you use a chipped hammer and chisel to make jewels? Doesn't look like you're doing gem cutting. I mean, I suppose maybe. Ew. Ew, it smells like rotten eggs in here. Yeah, that's called sulfur. Now we can take that that thing. Ooh, maybe there's something I can die. Some place I can die. Alright, so we have a lantern. Whee! Yay, a lantern. Can I kill myself? Come on. Throw yourself in, Rosala. It's not worth living anymore. Since we can't fill this place up with concrete. Do it. Do it. Wow. What an updraft. That's not helpful. Yeah. That's where that rotten egg smell is coming from. That so take some. Hmm, maybe it's sulfur. Yeah? You think? So take some? Hmm, maybe it's Whoops. I guess I got a little too close to the edge. Sweet, sweet release. That last step was a doozy. Yes, we'll try it again. Alright. Uh, well, we got some uh, green glowing water here. <coughs> Plunge your Look. face in. What's this? It's green water? Uh, you have not seen green water before? Ugh, what's this? Green water? Yes? Alright, I don't think we have anything that we can pick that up with right now. There was a bowl back in the kitchen. I wonder if we needed to look at the water before we could take the bowl. Let's see if we can get it now. Alright, what's his name is not around. I am pretty sure I hmm oh there we go there's a bowl that we can take it is a bowl that I can get to sp 14 karat gold really well all right I'll take that bowl I mean, it's a bowl, so yay. I think I can get the uh, uh, green water now. So we have one of the ingredients, and we're about to get the second of the ingredients. Don't mind me, just walking through here, slowly. <clears throat> very, very slowly. Ever so slowly. All right, let's go ahead and use the bowl. And now we have bowl with green water. Ooh, wee! That's just frightening. All right, what if we... What if we go over here?
Can we get over here? Yep, there we go. Can I get over here? I didn't die. Now I've died. I guess I got a little too close to the edge. Y yeah, you got you got a little too close to the edge by jumping off of it. All right, how about we go over here? There we go. How do you jump like that anyway? And now I have wet sulfur. Yay. Jump over here. Okay, let's see. Let's make our way up. Now, that uh, troll would not let us uh, take those tongs, but uh, we do have the, the supposed sleep aid in the form of this wet sulfur. So maybe we can do something. Oh, hello. What's that? I I No. That little goyle is a mold for casting tin. Goyle? I poured hot silver in there, see? And when it cools, I have a spoon. Great. Can can I have it? When will it cool? Well, let's uh apparently light this this lantern, so let's go ahead and do that. How that works, I don't know, but it is now a lantern with a spark. And we can put the sulfur in the in the pot here. Don't mind me, just you know, putting you to sleep. Well, that What's was convenient. That, Mama? Time for bed? Yes. Okay. Not a night. I'll take that. That's way too hot to touch. Ow. All right, can I take this bowl? No. All right, well, I can take those, right? Yeah, I got some tongs. Seriously, can I not look at the tongs? Okay, fine. Um. Huh? Well, I can use them with him. Excuse me. Huh? What? I'm sorry I startled you, sir, but could you tell me how to open this mold? Uh, certainly, my dear. Plunge it into that bucket of water over there. Thank you. Well, he is awfully nice. Okay. In we go. Maybe it'll create some sparks or steam or something like that and uh, um, burn this guy, this uh, other troll's face off. That'd be nice, right? Well. Yes. I have a silver spoon. I guess I put the tongs back. Apparently, I just tossed the mold aside as well. And my silver spoon! Yes! I can now be an 80s TV show.
anywhere else to go? I guess we'll go over here. We haven't been over there yet. Actually, we are going to call this one an episode here. Can I, can I get you to face the camera? There we go. We'll call this an episode here. When we come back, we are going to continue trying to restore Rosala to her normal, frighteningly human form. See you next time, everyone.